Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with a long overdue update to the Miami Vice Ferrari Daytona Spider. Now, progress has been a lot slower on this build than I was hoping, but other than the kit being really nicely detailed with a lot of fine parts, uh, the kit itself has not been the slow part. Uh, I've just had a lot of other things going on these last few weeks. But the kit itself, as I mentioned in the review, the parts looked really nice and sharp, the detailing looked good, and I'm happy to say that it goes together as good as it looks from the parts. Uh, but there are a lot of them. The engine is over two dozen pieces, has all sorts of fine details that need to be picked out with paint, but it just about snaps together. And taking a look at some of what we've got going on here, you see it's got some nice sharp detailing on those cam covers, including the Ferrari scripts and the bolt heads. It's got nice delicate suspension parts with the bolts detailed there. It's got actual working steering, even though that's a pretty fine tie rod there. On the rear of the car, got some no more nice suspension detail work. Rear transmission and the drive shaft here is the only part I replaced in the kit because what they provided, nice as it was, there's no way to make a perfectly round thing and not have a seam in it. So I replaced that with a section of aluminum tubing. But other than that, all of this is right as it came out of the kit. And you look at how nice and tight everything fits together on it, including some bits that I wasn't really expecting to go together as good as they did. For example, these engine mounts here on the side are separate pieces that you glue to the side of the engine block and then the whole thing drops into the frame and everything just lined up absolutely perfectly. In fact, I didn't even need to use glue on it and it was holding the engine in place. So, really nice work here. And as far as painting goes, what I did was I assembled major pieces, like the entire engine, except for the oil filters up here, and all of the chassis components, and I painted them all with a Duplicolor flat black primer, because that goes on really nice and thin, has a nice, totally flat finish on it. And then I went back and did the painting of the aluminum engine, the gold suspension components, uh, put some grimy black on drive shaft boots back here. All of that was done on top of the black primer and then I shot everything again with a dull coat layer so that it kind of brought everything together because at the time of the show this is supposed to be about a 15 year old car. Well maintained but still 15 years old so I didn't want to go really glossy and shiny. I've been doing a little bit of light weathering on it. I'm going to be doing a little bit more when I put the exhaust headers on it, I'm going to be rusting them up. I'm going to be putting some discoloration on the frame rails, things like that. Nothing too extreme, certainly nothing anywhere as near what I did on the thinner or Beverly Hills Cop Novas, but I do want to add some age to the car. And what I'm working on now, and you can see I've got the first half done, is the ignition wiring. And what I did is I drilled out a distributor with six holes in it, and then drilled out the individual cylinders. I cut wire that would fit between the two, plugged it into the distributor, ran it out, plugged it into the individual cylinders, and then the tie wraps, one here, one here, and one here, basically every two cylinders grouped together. I took a single strand from some stranded wire and I looped that around the wires and then twisted it to kind of clamp everything together. I was originally going to use some photo etch, but I don't have anything that was fine enough to look the part here. So that's the route I ended up taking for those. So that side is done now. This side's going to be next. It's a little bit slow going though, so I'm kind of splitting it up amongst different nights. And once that's done, I'm going to put the brakes on it, put the wheels on it, and then build off of that platform from there. So, hopefully, uh, if I can get a little more time to work in the next few days, 
I'll be able to get that finished and like I said get it up to a rolling platform for the update next week. So check back then and thanks for watching.